Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice Radio. So today, we're looking at another one of these fancy new cards, which is going to be coming out in the Detective Pikachu set. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's Charizard. Now, we did see a Detective Pikachu Charizard recently. I'll pop a link to that video in the description. But right now, we are focused pretty much entirely on the new Charizard. And frankly, this is a very big boy. And this does an awful lot of damage. If we start off with the basics here, we've got 180 HP. Now, that's not entirely unheard of. My boy Mamoswine's got 180 HP. But it is still extremely high for a Stage 2 non-GX Pokemon. Now, annoyingly, the Retreat cost is free here. If the Retreat cost was 4, we could use Buff Padding to up our HP by 50. But it's not, so we can't. The weakness to water does make it weak to the Greninja from Detective Pikachu, which I like very much indeed. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the worst weakness to have. And being fighting type means you're hitting weakness against Celebi and Venusaur, which is an extremely good deck at the moment. But it also means you're hitting a metal weakness. Lucario and Melmetal will be coming in unbroken bonds. You'll be hitting that for weakness as well. So not too bad. But the real question here is, what does it do? Well, the first attack for one fire and two colorless energy does 70 damage. And this isn't actually too bad. The numbers here, well, they can work out quite nicely. So generally speaking here, your 70 damage doubled with weakness will be up to 140. So something like a Registeel would go down in one hit here. So that's quite nice. Adding in a choice band means you then go up to 100. Double with weakness will be 200. And something like a Dusk Main Necrozma will be going down in one hit. The problem is there's just too many Pokemon around that are going to be able to get away with this. There are going to be too many Pokemon that can avoid this. You see, let's take something like Metagross GX. Metagross GX has 250 HP. It is, in every sense of the word, a big boy. And the problem is that even with a Shrine of Punishment, it's going to take a lot of turns to actually get this working. Similarly, we could take something like the aforementioned Celebi and Venusaur. Well, they got 270. So a Choice Band on here, doubled with Weakness, means you're at 200 HP, or 200 damage. But Celebi and Venusaur's got 270 HP. So even with a Choice Band and Weakness, you're not getting that close to a KO. And that's kind of the problem here. The thing to remember is, this is your starter attack. The problem I'm worried about, you need a double colorless energy and a regular energy on a stage 2 Pokemon. And sure, with Alolan Ninetales helping you search out your rare candy, stage 2s are as consistent as they've been for a long time. But it, it's still using rare candy. It's still relying on Alolan Ninetales, it, it's still getting your stage two out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of the problem here. That's what makes me a little bit sad. I think it's just a little bit too much. The good news is we have a second attack here, which is even bigger and makes Charizard look even badder. One fire, three colorless energy, 180 damage, and my French isn't great, but I'm fairly sure this says it does 50 damage to itself. So, 180 damage, flat out, is good. 180 damage means you're already getting something like a Blacephalon. It means that with a Choice Band, you'll be getting a one-hit KO on a Zoroark GX. Or with one turn of Shrine of Punishment, you're going to be up to 190, and then Buzzwall GX is going down. Numbers-wise, this is good. 180 for an attack is a really, really good amount of damage to be doing right now. It's lovely. But it's for four energy 
on a stage two. Now, as for the south damage here, I mean, it brings you down to 130. The good news is after the south damage, you'll still take a hit from Zoroark. And I suppose really the question here is, would you rather take south damage or would you rather discard the energy? Because if you want to do 180 for four energy, but you'd rather discard a bunch of energy than take the damage, well, Moltres from Team Up. Moltres from Team Up is a basic Pokemon, not a Sage 2. Fire, 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 colorless, 180. Discard free energy from this Pokemon. So if you really want to save the damage, then use Moltres. Here's the thing, though. Moltres only has 120 HP. So even after the south damage, you've still got 10 more HP than Moltres. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that we don't have a basic that can do 180 for four energy as a fire Pokemon. What I am going to say is, you've got a discard, it's got much lower HP, and here's one of the things about Charizard, it's colourless energy. Now, it's a stage 2, right? Stage 2s are not easy to tech into decks. They are a pain in the neck, frankly. But that doesn't mean it's impossible, and that doesn't mean it can't be done. It just means that it's kind of awkward. You can pop this into a Malamar deck, and now you're doing 180 damage and you're hitting fire weakness. That's not too bad. Or maybe you put it into something like a Magnezone deck and use it with Metal Energy. Sure, you will need one fire, but you can even play something like Rainbow Energy here. The problem is... We've seen people play Malamar with Ultra Necrozma, just playing the odd metal energy, and for some people that's a little bit awkward. Chances of playing this? Not, not great, ladies and gentlemen. Not great at all. I don't think it's going to be a tech. But here's the thing. We're probably already playing Charizard, or at least there is a Charizard at the moment that is absolutely worth playing. Incidentally, it's not the Charizard GX which is just plain too expensive, and it's not the Charizard GX, the one from Detective Pikachu, that's just too gosh darned expensive. What we have is the one from Team Up. And the Charizard from Team Up's got a phenomenal ability. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on this Pokemon, and then search your deck for two fire energy and attach them to this Pokemon. We've then got Continuous Blaze Ball, 30 damage, discard all fire energy, do 50 damage for each one you discard. So if you use the ability and your attachment for the turn, you're actually doing 180 for free damage. But again, you can't use double colorless energy and you've got to discard them all. One thing you could do is tack one of these new Charizard into a Charizard deck so that you've just got a flat 180. And you're not discarding the energy or any of that rubbish. You're just going for it. Now, this has 30 more HP than that Charizard. So until you use the attack, you're laughing. And actually, that Charizard takes two self damage with the ability. This Charizard takes five self damage with the attack. They both even out at 130. But having a Charizard where you're just doing a flat 180 and you don't have to discard the energy could be an advantage. And sure, the energy is a bit of a pain, but it's a fire deck. We've got Kiawe. And let's not forget about the Charmeleon from Dragon Majesty, which when you evolve up into it, lets you discard the top five cards of your deck and any of them that are fire energy you get to attach to Charizard. Now, admittedly... You could end up discarding something like a rare candy, and that could be a real pain. But this could work. I don't think this is the best Charizard ever. The one from Team Up actually probably legitimately is the best Charizard ever. And I don't think this is going to instantly become the best deck in the format. But I think that it can be teched into other decks because of the colorless energy cost. I think the 180 HP is to be taken seriously. And yeah, sure, it's a bit of a pain that you have to take the south damage, but before you attack, you've got 180 HP. After a Kiawe, that's going to keep you safe for that little bit longer. And I think it's nice to have a Charizard in a Charizard deck that doesn't force you to discard the energy. The fact of the matter is, it's got huge HP, it does a huge amount of damage, it's got to be worth having a little bit of a play around with. Let's give it three Wossies. 
which may well end up being just that little bit generous. But ladies and gentlemen, I would very much like to know what you think about this new Charizard. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! But please do remember the more important rule. Be nice, would ya? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk transformers and keyforge and wave two of keyforge has been announced and i'm excited but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.